in South America and I just think it's such a joyous sound it makes me really happy but it also teaches us a lot about the science of sound you see the smaller shorter pipes have a higher pitch and the longer tubes have a lower pitch and so when you play a pan pipe you can get from the really high pitches to the really low ones so what we're going to do today is we're actually going to use something that you probably have at your house we're going to use some straws and we're going to measure and we're going to take and we're actually going to make our own tuned Pan pipe, so you can actually play little songs along with it. There's a handout in Google Drive, and it actually has the measurements on there for you. Um, and so we'll work together to create our own pan pipes. We're going to have Do, Re, Mi, So, and La on our pan pipe, so we'll be able to play some pentatonic songs. Okay, so I've got my materials. I have some straws probably need three or four. four, four is probably enough. Um, I have some scissors. I have a ruler that has inches on it. And then because my straws don't match my colors, I have a red marker, an orange marker, yellow, blue, and indigo or purple. For this case and I have some tape. All right so to start with I'm going to measure out my red straw and it's going to measure two and seven eighths. Okay seven eighths let's see here seven eighths more than a half yeah it's more than a half because a half would be four eighths and it's all the way up to let's see here The eighths are this long. The very teeny tiny ones are sixteenths. But these these little bit bigger ones are the eighths. So two and seven eighths is actually right there. And it looks like it's right over the three, but the three technically should be on that long one, right? So seven eighths is this guy, all right? So two and seven eighths, that's my dough. And he's going to be my red one. So I'm going to go ahead and lay out my tape. And I'm going to leave a little bit of room at the top. Okay. And then I'm going to just color this with my red marker. Just right on the tape. All right, so the next 
So the next one is the orange one, and the orange one needs to be two and five eighths inches. Okay, so I'm going to use, since I think there's probably enough of it, I'm going to continue to use my same straw, and I measure starting on the end, and I get two, and remember five eighths is just a little more than a half. So here's two, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, which is your half, and then five eighths is right in here. Okay. Two and five eighths. Okay, and I'm going to cut that one right there and color him orange. Now, when I put it on the tape, remember to keep your smoothest part up at the top, and we want your top to stay the same level. We don't want it to drop down. You don't want to be doo -doo 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 -doo, right? So you want to keep those at the same level. The bottom can be different. And then remember, we painted this one red. We're going to color this one orange. Now we should have dough and ray. Dough, ray. Can you get the difference in the pitch? It's a little bit higher, it's a little bit lower. Next, we're going to do me. Me is two inches and a fourth, two and a fourth inches. Okay, so I'm going to actually use a new straw for this one. Two and a fourth. Let's see, can you find that on there? Yep, there it is, two and one fourth inches. Now, one of the tricks is you really have to line up your end or it won't be right. And you'll notice I'm leaving some space between them. And the reason for that is so that you can play one without playing two. And this one is what color? Oh, yeah, yellow. Okay, so now we have me, ray, do, me, ray, do. Cross buns, good. All right, now we need sew and blow. The blue should be one and seven eighths inches. Okay, so we're getting shorter and shorter. So what do you think is going to happen to our pitch? That's right, it's going to get higher. So one and seven eighths. see it on there? One and seven eighths inches. So this one on my pan pipe should be colored blue. And our last one should just be an inch and a half. That should be pretty easy. One and a half inches. Oh, did I get it lined up on the end? Mm -hmm. One and a half inches. Good and lined up on the end. And that one should be indigo. Now, if there's more than one of you in your house, 
you may want to write your name on this piece of tape. So once you've gotten your hand pipe all organized and colored and ready, then with the one that you wrote your name on, see I just wrote my name on there, you can see that, I will just tape that right on the other side. So it's nice and it's got a lot of space. I've used two pieces of tape and then I'll just trim off the edges, not, not too close to the end because I need something to hold it with. Right? And then it makes this beautiful, beautiful sound. Good. And then we can play along. Um, this is do, re, mi, so, la. We want to play hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Mi, re, do, mi, re, do. Do, 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 re, 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 mi, re, do. If we wanted to do um, teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around, teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground, teddy bear, teddy bear, tie your shoe, teddy bear, teddy bear, that will do. So, so me, so, so me, so la, so me, so, so me. So, so, me, so, me, ray. So, so, me, so, so, me, so, la, so, me, so, so, me, so, so, me, so, ray, do. Check out um, the, the handout um, on your um, Google Drive. Then you can print this out with some instructions, and it will also tell you with the colors how to play your very own hand pipe. Okay, so the next piece of this puzzle that we're going to be doing is we're going to also, when you're there, print off um, a, a, the paper that talks to us about the instruments of the orchestra. Um, remember we talked about the instruments of the orchestra last time and what we're going to do we're going to actually be listening to something called Benjamin Britten's Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra. This is a composition that was written to teach folks, teach kids, but also anybody about the different instruments in the orchestra. Um, they're going to introduce them to you um, and your job is to write down what you hear um, and it will also be explained. So um, go to um, my Google channel if you want. It's, it's elementary music from home um, is my playlist. And if you'll click on there, you can find um, Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra. This is actually filmed at the Sydney Opera House, which is a very famous place in Sydney. Um, and you might see sometimes you can see there they have boats they'll show the harbor and they'll show the lighted boats. And it's kind of confusing. You're kind of like, what is that? What am I seeing? But sometimes they have that and sometimes they have um, displayed on the on in a, in a, on a screen behind the orchestra, the different instruments as they play. So um, take a look at that and really take a look at all these different kind of beautiful instruments in our world and all the sounds that they can create and what a glorious sound we can make together from little soda straws all the way to big timpani and bassoons and, and strings and, and violins and everything in the orchestra. So from the simplest to probably the most complicated.
All right, let's listen to this music together. Thanks for, thanks for coming and visiting, and um, I enjoyed being here.